So today I'm going to teach you about overlays, which are a wonderful and effective way to add detail to your map. Overlays are cheap, meaning that they will not tank frames per second, and you can add as many as you want of these, it's just a simple texture that's been overlaid on top of another. So in order to create an overlay, first I'm going to go to Active Material, you want to type Overlay, or the word Decal. So I'm going to select one that's very complex so I can explain to you several concepts. I'm going to go into the Block tool, and in Tools you say that says Active Material is an overlay, so now I need to drag a rectangle to apply it. Here's the overlay, I'm going to press Q to scale it. And if I press T, I move it up and down, you see how it's being projected on that specific area. You can rotate it. To have the overlay applied only, for example, on the road right here in the middle, I'm going to press Alt Enter and when it says Projection Targets, I'm going to select the road only. So now you see what happens. If I would like this overlay also to be applied, like say on the edge, I'm going to hit Shift and select also this area. Here you can also control the distance at which you want the overlay to be projected from and whether or not I want it to have some alpha or transparency. But I want to cut this overlay so it's only a single piece of this texture, not all of it, using the clipping tool. So you want to just simply drag a cut like this and then I'm going to cut it again. Okay, and now that I've cut it, it's a single face. So right click on it, select the meshes, convert to overlay. I can also change its color, something like red. Let's say that I have this overlay on top of this one. So whose overlay is going to be on top of who? Here you see render order. Let's make the pigeon too. So you see that the pigeon now is drawn on top of this other overlay. So that's all I have for you today. See you next time.